public drawing four. This is the solid we're using this time. It's the same two pieces of timber but assembled differently than the last time. The plan we have the green surface is set here, the yellow surface that's it there, and the sloping front is the blue there. The elevation that we're looking at here, the pink represents the end and the black is the bottom piece. In the end view, you have the red surface represents this one, the pink, this end, and the blue, the front of the bottom piece. What we want to do now is get a drawing with this view, slope back and this angle here. This, the front of this is sloped, so it's sloped at 60 degrees. So the 60 degree sets go won't work there because this side here is at an angle. So to get the angle on the corner, we have to, this 60 degrees that's here, we have to set the compass to that distance there. So that's the compass set to that. For the point of compass in the corner and step it back along the line and join that to the corner. And that's your 60 degree angle in this view. Now draw that line across the top. And that gets you the point to join back down to the corner at the bottom. And that's the slope on the front of the base. So that's the end there, which is the black surface there. And that cut there is the 60 degree angle there in oblique. Now the top piece is cut at 60 degrees, 60 degrees here, but again we cannot use the set square. The set square won't work because it's at the wrong angle. If I turn it down like this it's at the wrong angle. So again it's a case of work with measurements so square off the piece here as if it wasn't cut at all now that leaves the corner of the piece before it was cut set the compass now from that corner back to the cut and from the corner at the front here mark it along this line and join that point then back to the back corner at the top. And that's your 60 degree line there. Bring that point down to the bottom line there. And that gets you the point to be joined back now. And that's the solid complete. Now line in your drawing. So there it is now coloured in and that's what we're looking at there and that's oblique drawing for complete.